So there we go. England take the Six Nations 12-24 in France. They don't have it all their own way, but some clinical tries through the forwards in that first half. Too much for France. France came back into it, but you can't give England that sort of lead. So let's have a look at the game. It's the first proper high-level test match, I'd say, of the Six Nations. We kind of knew that was going to be the case. And France actually have a kicking game, which other teams don't really have. And they were beating England at that territory kicking game early on. Gave them a good platform in the scrum. Sonsu, the scrum half of France, who is a class act, probably the best scrum half in the tournament. A quick, clever little tap penalty to make some metres. Then a powerful round-the-corner carry from Monaget. Scores 7-0 straight off the bat. Really great start for France. Then the first touch of class from England, a 50-22 from Roland. That's the big advantage of her playing at 15. It's a kicking game. She's got a great running game as well, but she's a, a fly half playing there, essentially. This sets up big try line pressure for England. Get a penalty five metres out, and their maul is their best weapon by far. It's a try for burn. Pretty straightforward stuff for England there. Seven all back into it. England playing to their strengths as they should. Now, after about 15 minutes, they're really starting to squeeze France now with possession in the danger zone. France defending, defending well, but facing a lot of pressure. Those England forwards are making dents for sure. But the French backs, I think in this game, kind of had England's number actually in the back line, which England hadn't come across before. So that was pretty impressive. But they go to their mall again on 16 minutes, their big weapon. This time it's a ward that eventually crashes over. And Scarrod actually converts both of those tries very nicely. 7-14. So France, yeah, they're defending well, but they are getting on the wrong side of the law. Too many penalties, giving England that possession and territory. Really putting France on the back foot. And I make a note here, when it goes to the England backs, I mean, they're handling quite nicely, but they haven't really faced that really aggressive French press defence. They count their numbers really well, France. There isn't much space, and England are kind of just getting caught a bit, looking for that space when it's not there, when they really just need to be piling through the gain line. You know, but that can be expected when they haven't come across that before, I think. On the other hand, the French attack in the back line I wasn't too impressed with. I thought they stood really deep. And if you stand deep, that's fine as long as you run onto the ball or you're trying to get around the edge. But they weren't really doing any of those things and were getting caught behind their line quite a few times, actually. So the French back's defence, I thought, was slightly better than their uh, attack, actually. The French line-out, bit of an issue throughout the game, bit of pressure from England as well. That botches in a really good five-metre chance for them. And you know, that was the story of the game you know, in good positions for France sometimes. The back's very deep again, not threatening. So really in this first half, they weren't looking like they were going to score again after that first try. England starting to use Poppy Cleal a bit, crashing up off first phase. I'm not sure if Poppy Cleal is 100% fit, but she definitely guarantees you gain line. And then a bit of individual brilliance actually out wide from Thompson on the wing. Beats a stack of French defenders, takes them right up to five metre um, away from the line. Is yellow card danger for France as well. Um, inevitable maul and a try for burn. So that's really good stuff there. All from that individual brilliance from Thompson on the wing. 7-19. Now, finally, on half an hour, France do get into a decent attacking phase. It's fairly basic, one out around the corner stuff, but they're retaining the ball in the red zone, getting multiple penalties off England. Go to about three different line-out malls, I believe. And on the third one, France lose it. So that's where they should have scored to keep in the game. Maybe they lost the game right there where they could have held on to England. And then in the second half, when they did play better, then maybe they could have sneaked it. But, you know, that was a massive loss there. So half-time, it's 7.21. Into the second half, and France start quick. The crowd starts going. You know, the French 9 sans is really good, controlling the tempo of the game and a real running threat herself. They're getting loads of momentum into their phases. It's looking good, England on the back foot and also under territorial pressure as well. And there's a yellow for England. It's not great from Harrison, to be fair. Clearly not back on side and a deliberate knock on. So, you know, that's going to get you in trouble. Uh, she goes off, but they don't actually concede in that time. There's a five metre scrum where France have a great chance to score against, you know, 14 players. But it's a huge England scrum exactly when they needed it. Relieves the pressure. A big rolling ball helps clear as well. That was a big play for England there and another big loss for France. They really could have done with scoring at some crucial times here, France. 
but it still is all France. They got loads of good possession, but they seem a little bit obsessed with kicking in good attacking positions. Now, that's a bit of a shame, so they don't score a try there. But it's pretty balanced. Good attack versus defence. Hard to find holes for both sides. England happy when they can to resort to the mall. Emily Scarrett's been quite effective on the switch, just crashing it up. Fairly basic, but it seems to be working. The French defence isn't giving England you know, much, especially in the back line. But you know, England at least are getting a little bit of ball in this period. And on 58 minutes, England really camped in the French half. Some scrums, some mauls, sucking up some time. And a French yellow uh, for another deliberate knock-on, actually. They kicked the penalty. 7.24, that's the last points England are going to get. And on 66 minutes, it's the last points for France, which is a really well-deserved try because they have been on top in the second half. So that takes it to 12.24, and that's how the score is going to stay, pretty even for the final quarter of an hour. 12.24, England well-deserved, although they definitely had it pretty tough there, especially in that second half. France realised they should have scored at crucial times. They absolutely are good enough to beat England when we come to this World Cup. They will be an absolute danger sign. So let me know what you think of that game, guys. Who played well? Is it a well-deserved Six Nations for England? Where do they need to improve? And also, if you're a French fan, let me know what you thought of that team as well. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you next time.